everyone. I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their careers and get the most out of their organization or their business. This one in particular we're looking at is the impact over influence chart, which is the best chart for figuring out who we need to engage on our project or in the change that we're trying to make. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of features here. It's got the quadrants that we need to engage them. So who are we collaborating with? Who are we keeping informed? And if we were to add an extra person here, then as you can see, it appears straight away, our extra person, and we need to maintain the confidence of that particular person. Let's get into the sheet. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just be, is just going to be adding the general colors and framing of our sheet. And we might speed this up as we go along to get into the really good stuff, which is creating the stakeholder map itself. The colors we're going to give this for the heading row is a nice deep ocean blue, all the way out to around column P, and that's gonna be the header for our sheet. We'll add just a, a little section here for the project name, make the text white, put that over to the right hand side and just indent that a little bit, make sure it's in the middle as well. Then we can merge and center these particular rows uh, and make them just a little bit bigger, and maybe we'll put it over to the left, indent it a little bit, make the text a nice dark gray. Stakeholder map, we also want that to be white and we can make that nice and large because that's our heading. Now we're going to create the table and we're just going to start with a nice thick border around this and maybe a thick border around the heading as a heading row as well. And then for the rest of it, let's go into our more borders uh, options. And that way we can add just a straight border, nice and vertical, and that will be, that will be enough for us to get started. This one is going to be the number this one is going to be the stakeholder name. This one's the impact of the change. And this one's the level of influence. Now you can change this up and you can make the, either of these two to suit your own needs. It could be power over, uh, over influence or power over impact. Uh, there are many different ways that we can look at this uh, and you can definitely choose this for yourself. The, we're going to give this a nice turquoise color to, to, um, to go with our deep blue up the top there. And of course, make the text white just so that it does stand out and bold. We'll bring down our numbers. Now we can make these numbers automatic as well and I have done that in the, in the sheet that I use. I can show you how to do that later on. We'll add a couple of stakeholders here just to get started. Of course, we want all of this to be in the center just so that it is nice and in the middle of our sheet as well. Now we're just going to add a few more uh, border options here and we want a dotted row for our horizontal in the middle and that looks very nice. One more thing we're going to do is just add a little extra section and this is going to be our chart axis. We're going to use this to, to add the quadrants later on and we need both of these to be in the middle. So we've got five and five. That will be important later on. Now what we're going to do is just select the impact of change and the level of influence, uh, as many as we like there. We'll say insert and we want to insert a scatter plot. Now you can see that we've got three dots on a scatter plot chart. We'll just increase this a little bit. We want the title to, we're just going to say equal up in our formula bar, and we want that to equal uh, the stakeholder map or the title that we're looking at. So if we press enter, that'll give us our nice title. Now we need to, to uh, add some of the options into our chart. So we go into right click and select data. So there are a few things we want here. First of all, we want to actually add a add another uh, item which is our chart axis and the first one for series x values is five and the second one for series y is also five so we're going to add that make sure there's no extra bits in there press enter now we're going to need that later on for our uh, for our quadrants also what we want to do is select the the data points that we have the first three we'll right click on these and we'll add data labels. Now, as you can see, we've got the data labels and they're, they're just numbers at the moment. We don't really want numbers. So we want to right click and we want to format our data labels. And we actually want to say value from cells. So we want the cells, uh, cell names. So what we want to do is select all the way, uh, all the way here as well. Uh, and these are all the people and these will be the names that we'll be using instead of the numbers so that it looks nice. 
and here we go. But it still has the numbers in there, so we just want to get rid of the Y value as well. And there we go, now we've got the names showing, and that's how we're going to show all of these people in the different quadrants for our stakeholder map. Let's right click and give ourselves a nice, nice border, maybe a dark border there, and uh, maybe a little increase in size, and that way it's starting to look a little bit better. But how do we put the quadrants in? That's where we select the, that new series that we, that we created with five and five, and we actually want to go to design, and for uh, and add a chart element. So we want to add a chart element and it's an error bar. So we just want, let's say a percentage based error bar. And as you can see, these things appear uh, and they're very, very small at first. So we'll select one of those error bars. And what we want is to just format these error bar options. And the options are over here on the right hand side. And we want them to be 100% of, uh, of our particular uh, map. And it's messed it up a little bit for us, but we'll fix that up in a second. And we're going to, but uh, that's not all. We actually don't want a cap on the end, so we just want it to be a straight line. Then we can go back and format this and add an end arrow, just so that we know we're going from left to right, or you can add anything you like as an end cap. We'll do the same for our other one, and we'll say 100%. We'll say no cap for this one, and we'll give that an end arrow as well. Now we can get rid of that center one by just going to our marker options and saying no fill and no border. And there we go. Now we've just got our two, two lines. Now we can still format these error bars and we can go back and give these a nice color. Maybe we'll give these a nice, nice gold color. Oh, that's looking really good. We'll format the other one and do the same. And actually, we may not like the, the arrows on the end, but it's up to you whether you use them or not. Uh, maybe for this one, we'll just say no arrows and have normal lines. Now we just want to fix up the formatting because it's gone past 1 to 10, it's gone up to 12. So we'll select the, uh, the numbers down the bottom, right click and format axis, and we'll just say the maximum we want that to go to is 10. And that way that will fix that up. And we'll do the same on the left hand side here, format axis, and just change that back to 10. Now it's starting to look really nice. Now we do want to add some of the, uh, the axis titles as well. So we'll go more axis title options and that has given us both. And that way, what we want for this, we can do the same thing again. We can say for our axis title, we'll just put in our formula bar. This one, we're going to make it the level of influence. And if we press enter, that updates for us very nicely. For the bottom one, we'll go back to our formula bar and say equals, this is the impact of the change. Now we have a stakeholder map that's going to update automatically for us and it's looking really, really good. Let's add a few more people and a few more impacts and influence numbers from one to 10. And all of those people appear automatically on our stakeholder map. This is such a wonderful tool and it's a wonderful way to really keep the people engaged in your project and understand what you need to do to keep everybody on board. We can just go to view and remove those grid lines so that it's all nice and done. And that's really beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed creating this spreadsheet. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you to help you get ahead in your career and help you succeed in business. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.